Hey everyone, so I'm kind of on a movie kick today since I have some time and it's raining outside right now. So I wanted to kind of go through a little review of my sort of favorite perfumes out there. My personal preference on perfumes are definitely more florally in scent versus fruity. I really don't like very fruity perfumes that smell like apple or orange. I really don't like citrus, but I do really like floral perfumes. So kind of one of the, the longest perfumes that I've been using, it's kind of ironic because I've talked about this before, but green's my favorite color. It's the color of my eyes. It's my birth month. My birthday's in May, so the color um, for May is green, the emerald is the birthstone, and the flower is lily of the valley, which is also my name. So I kind of have stuck to like all the things that make me who I am, my birthday, my color, my eye color, and all that. So I think it's kind of funny. But one of my favorite perfumes, back on track here, one of my favorite perfumes is called Lily of the Valley, and it's from a company called Crabtree and Evelyn. Crabtree and Evelyn has a lot of really nice bath products um, and a lot of really nice perfumes. So if you've ever seen one in the mall, you should go in and tr try and test out some of their perfumes because they're very nice. So this is the perfume. Like I said, it's called Lily of the Valley, which is also my favorite flower and my favorite scent. Um, they're these really pretty sort of white little flowers. If you've ever seen at the beginning of my videos, that's kind of my favorite flower. It's a really nice light floral scent. Um, very pretty. It's such a beautiful smell. It's like something I wear every day. Uh, very subtle. I don't like super overpowering smells. So this is definitely one of my favorites. I think I've been using this since high school and I'm 26 now. So definitely like at least eight years I've been using this perfume. So two of my new favorites that I've bought in I think like the last six months are from a company called Gilly Hicks. Gilly Hicks is a subsidiary of Abercrombie and Hollister and I think Rule. They have some really nice perfumes. Abercrombie and Rule also have some really nice perfumes but I like these. They're more feminine I think. Um, I think sometimes the Abercrombie and Hollister ones are a little more almost cologne -y. They're really um, strong scents but I really like these because they're a little bit softer, a little bit more feminine. And Gilly Hicks has really awesome t-shirts, so if you're ever looking for t-shirts, Gilly Hicks has really cute t-shirts, and they also are sort of, their main focus is sort of underwear. They have, I think, like 30 different styles of bras, so if you're sick of Victoria's Secret or wherever you're buying your underwear from, they have some really cute stuff in there, so you should go and try it out. They have from super tiny sizes to super huge, so they have one of the, I think, broadest ranges of bra sizes I've actually seen, like from double A up to like double D. Um, so the first perfume, anyways, that I like is called Kirui, and it comes in a bottle like this, Kirui. Um, it's like a light pink color, and it's a very sort of florally, kind of almost rosy scent. It's very soft. It's really, really pretty. It's one of my favorite new scents. So Kirui. If you've ever seen a Gilly Hicks store, um, you should definitely go in. They're kind of intimidating when you walk by because they have like a, it almost looks like a, like external building from the front, like a beach house. And sometimes, which I think is really weird, Gilly Hicks and Abercrombie, they have like naked, half-naked models standing outside the store. So it's sometimes a little awkward to kind of go into the store. But don't be afraid. Go in um, and try out some of their stuff. One other thing I have to say about their t-shirts, um, they do have a website that you can buy all these products from. Uh, the shipping is kind of expensive. I actually had one of these shipped to me. I think it was $10. So if you're going to buy something it's good to buy multiple things because then you don't end up getting jacked on the shipping. But their sizing is kind of all over the place in terms of their t-shirts. So I definitely wouldn't recommend buying them online because I actually range from extra small to large in the different shirts that I have from them. Uh, so you sort of have to try them on. It's all based on sort of the kind of knit they use in their fabrics. Some of them are really really tightly woven and they're really tight so I almost feel like I need a large. And some of them are really stretchy and sort of oversized, and I actually need extra small in. And I'm a small, I'm, I wear like a size 2 to 4, and I wear small tops. So, you know, if I'm wearing a large, definitely you kind of need to go in and try it on yourself. So the second perfume that's one of my new favorites is, a, is also from Gilly Hicks. It's a perfume called La Perouse. comes in a bottle like this. It's got like a blue, sort of light blue color. This is a more strong perfume. It's more cologne-y, like kind of the Abercrombie sort of and Hollister scents. Um, it's got a little bit of citrus in it, but it's more florally than citrus. It's, I think it's Gilly Hicks sort of signature perfume, um, just like Abercrombie. 
you know, they have like, I think it's called Fierce. So this is a really nice one to try. They actually spray this all over the store, so if you go in, it's going to be what you smell um, most strongly. And then sort of the new, most newest one that I've actually purchased was from Sephora, and it's by Vera Wang. It's called Bouquet. It comes in a nice bottle like this with a top. It's kind of just your, your standard sort of yellowy colored perfume, no like dyes added to it. And it's really floral. It's got sort of rosy kind of colors to it, or colors, the scents to it. Just a slight bit of citrus, but it's not overpowering citrus. Um, it's a really pretty soft scent. It lasts all day. And that's what I like about all of the perfumes that I pick. Sometimes I feel like you have to spray a couple spritzes on for certain perfumes in order to get them to last throughout the day. I feel like all of these are good with one, maybe two squirts at most. You definitely don't want to put more than like one or two squirts of this La Perouse from Gilly Hicks because it is a really strong, more cologne -y kind of perfume. It's, you know, stronger, more like a man scent. But those are my four favorite perfumes. So I would like to hear what your favorite perfumes are. So if you want to post a comment on my wall so that I can see what yours are, so I can try some new ones. I'm always trying to sort of extend and broaden my horizons. I don't want to limit myself. But yeah, I actually found this by asking a woman in Sephora, kind of what the sort of young perfumes that are really popular out there now. And she sort of brought me around and we smelled like five or six perfumes. You know, I explained to her that I liked more florally scents versus citrus. And it's really good to ask people when you go in versus just trying it by yourself because she went like straight to six perfumes um, that were more geared towards uh, what kinds of things that I would like. So I'm a real big fan of Sephora. I actually was, I spent like half hour, 45 minutes with a woman the other day there. And I, you know, got a new foundation and so she tried it out on me. We tried some different colors and picked up some bronzer, new perfume. So it's really good to go in and talk to those people. That's why they're there. They're, they know a lot about all the different products. Um, if you have specific skin issues, they're really good to ask sort of to get help like with moisturizers or if you're having acne problems or what kinds of products are going to irritate your skin because they know those kinds of things and a lot of those women have tried all of the products so I can only recommend that you go and ask it's better to ask than be sorry and spend like 40 or 50 bucks on something and really hate it but Sephora also does have a pretty good return policy if you don't like anything they'll take it back so if you hate it I definitely recommend getting your money back and picking out something else because you can't afford to spend $40 on a you know, a foundation and have it not match your skin or cause you to break out or something awful like that. So those are my four favorite perfumes. I hope you enjoyed. So let me know what your favorite perfumes are and I hope you have a wonderful day.